guys welcome back to my channel my name is caroline welcome to my channel caroline kate so today we're going to be doing um a quick video on basically how to fix a botched frontal or a frontal wig you can do this for um before you attach your frontal to a wig or if the, it's already a frontal wig in the first place so now um the wig i'm wearing was one that um is from our line that i made or that i um had tried to bleach the frontal a couple months ago and you know practice makes perfect and I was not paying attention I made a super or like a more liquidy texture and it basically seeped through the lace and bleached about a centimeter of the hair on the frontal on the frontal so guys as you can see this is what the wig looked like before I decided to go ahead and get started and fix the frontal this can happen maybe on your first time with a frontal, trying to bleach a frontal or a closure. This happened when I first tried to bleach my first closure. And this was actually the first front frontal that I tried to bleach as well. So it just was a big mess. Obviously, I don't do this anymore, but I just wanted to go ahead and save this to show you guys how to correct um, a botched lace closure or a botched frontal or a botched full lace wig, basically. So you can see it's all brassy, it's like a centimeter into the hair itself. So go ahead, you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need a mixing bowl, your choice of color. I chose the Revlon Color Silk Soft Black, which is the color 11. And it came with like a bottle with a spout, the color mix, and um, a conditioner. If you can notice, I had a little spoolie, which is the mascara brush I'm gonna be using. Um, and I just basically mixed the color according to the instructions on the box. And when I did that, I closed the little spout bottle, I guess, all over again and mixed it up a little bit. It's also important to get your wig in place before you get started. And just so you're not sliding around and chasing the wig around the uh, block head. So I'm going to get started. What I noticed is it's good to start in tiny sections. I'm basically going to go ahead and pour that um, dye mixture into the mixing bowl because I'm going to be using a spoolie, as you can see, which is basically... A mascara sample brush from one of my makeup stores, Sephora. Go Sephora for the hookup. Um, but basically, you're going to go ahead and start in small sections. And I started off by doing the first clip in real time. And you're just going to go ahead and brush slowly. You want to pay attention to the front because, of course, that's what people are going to see. But if you're partying, um, you want to pay attention as much as possible to the roots. Because at first, right now, as I'm brushing it on, it's not going to look like the color is going away but as it processes the black will deposit if you're going to be doing your hair in some interesting styles and just for the sake of uniformity if you're doing it anyway you might as well just go ahead and part it tiny sections so that's basically what i'm doing throughout the wig i've sped this up just so you can see how i do it in sections and as i get higher and higher you can see the gel the dye depositing on the roots and getting darker okay earlier it's very important to pay attention to correcting the color in the lace front because well it's the lace front you plan on wearing it that way it's what's gonna show so do pay attention to that part I just slow this down to show you that and then also continue to color the rest of the hair especially the middle and sides in small sections as well took about 20 something minutes 
and I'm just going to show you that I paid attention to how I colored the front of the lace front and after it's all done and the time has processed the, the color processed according to the box I went ahead and I rinsed um, the color out and then I went ahead and washed it with the Suave Professionals Almond and Shea Butter Conditioner which is an awesome conditioner um, for extensions curly or straight and I'm just kind of running that through getting all the kinks and detangling with my denim brush which is like the brush to have for any kind of curly hair from like a loose wave to kinky curly. Um, once again I am washing the conditioner, rinsing the conditioner out. Basically I just did a co-wash with the deep conditioner. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and define the curls even more. So now I did use the denim brush to detangle and define the curls and I could leave it at the state if I wanted like you know more tousled waves but I figured that if I start out I might as well start with defined waves. So I'm going and I'm basically taking big sections and running the denim brush through it. To achieve defined curls you want to run your denim brush through each section about three times um, especially towards the end so that they give you the ringlets. Um, that's what I'm basically doing here. If you guys want me to make a particular video on how I define my curls, I can do that. Um, but this is basically the finished look and I'm just so excited how it turned out. As you can see, like I said, um, look at how gorgeous the curls are now. I mean, it almost doesn't matter what leave-in conditioner you use, but as long as you define it with the demo brush, in that method you're good to go so look at the huge difference now between how horrible the not the hair hairline looked before and what like you know how awesome it looks now I'm just basically showing you um, before I go ahead and cut the lace off camera um, that the front of the lace looks great and I'm just so happy with how it turns out as you can see